Hold it tighter. Now, I want you back here in one hour. Ditch the boat, the suit, tank, everything, and take a shower in the trunk for 10 minutes. And no souvenirs. All I want to see come through that hatch is you. window shade tugging on a coke bottle. Hey, do you men know what time it is? Time to give up on radios, nuisances. Right. Here's a song that will get your heart rate up. Every time I sing the word up, reach for the stars. Every time I sing the word down, touch the ground. Powell the River rest Airport. of the time, march with your knees high. Those men, Alice Mina Strait. men in their flying machines. They Emily. go up, Lois they up, up, they go down, 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 down. They enchant all the ladies and see all the scenes with their up, to the up, up. As and they down, 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 down. Inland Lake, Lake. Flying around. Howell Lake, Cranberry Lake, Loop Miss Lee Lake, Lake, Powell River and Dale, Georgia Strait, Malaspina Strait, Courtney Air Park, Comox Airport and Air Force Base, Texada Island Airport. So many places to land an amphibian. They can fly upside down with their feet in the air. They don't think of danger, they really don't care. Uh -uh. Newton would think he had made a mistake yeah. to see those young men and the chances they take Those magnificent men in the flying machines They go up to the up up They go down to the down down They enchant all the ladies And see all the scenes with their up to the up up And their down to the down down Up, down, flying around Looping the loop and defying the ground down. They're frightfully keen, those magnificent men in their flying machines. Up, down, flying around, looping the loop and defying the ground. Up, down, they're frightfully keen, those magnificent men in their flying machines. So, continuing on from the last episode in quick order, I uh, installed by gluing the 36 Vortex generators onto the right wing. Just like in the last episode, I glued 36 Vortex generators onto the left wing. All done now. So there's another task. I can show it's complete on my work list. Now, the Spirit of Mackenzie has been up on blocks, so to speak, uh, so that I could do the fuel flow test because I had to angle her up at a supposed maximum angle of climb to do that uh, fuel test and to calibrate the fuel tank. Uh, so now I've kind of rejigged the blocks so that the main wheels are free of the ground. The tail wheel is back hooked up and in operation. So what I can do now is once again 
test the landing gear system that all three wheels go up and down as they're supposed to when I flip the toggle switch on the center console and that the b two blue lights come on when the wheels are up for water landing and the two green lights, not one, but two green lights should be on when the wheels are down for landing on green grass, black tarmac or mud or whatever, anything but water. So you can see there's one green light, the one on the co-pilot side is not activated. And the problem seems to be this little limit switch right here. If I just tw tweaked it with my finger, pushed it in, then you can see the green light comes on. So the system is good. It's just that this little micro switch, micro limit switch here is not fully depressed at this point. So I think what that means is I installed this little bracket too far out that way. So I'm gonna have to find a way uh, to make it so that when this lever arm here is in this position and the wheel is fully down, it pushes on the limit switch lever enough that it activates the green light, like so. Okay, gotta put my brain to that. Okay, I came up with a little solution. Let's see if it works. The wheels are up now. So engage the toggle switch to go from blue. Wheels down, hopefully to green. Let's have a look. And both green lights are on. So what I did, instead of trying to move the switch, I just put a little piece of plastic, that red plastic in there, basically to um, fill the gap. And I'll see how that works uh, after repeated uh, cycling of the gear. Another job off the list. Wow, Bob, you're flying today. Well, not flying. That comes later. I'm flying through the task list. Wearing my Sea Ray hat today. Just like with my Rotax hat, which I didn't uh, feel worthy of wear wearing until I actually got the engine running uh, on a reliable basis. Now with my Sea Ray hat, I think this is the first time in 10 years I've worn it because now I feel like at 99% ready to go, I'm finally worthy of wearing my Sea Ray hat. And uh, it's a little worse for wear. A little rusty button, it's got a little mold on it. And now that Progressive Aerodyne is out of business, maybe it's a collector's item. Anyway, I'm on to today with another task, anything but the radio, which if you watch my earlier uh, episodes, uh, I'm, I'm struggling with. So I'm doing everything I can around uh, working on the radio again, because that was just frustrating. But so what, what I'm gonna do today is uh, secure these uh, little quarter windows here in the turtle deck. Now, um, for fit up, I actually put some rivets in here before along with Clecos. So I'm gonna uh, drill these uh, rivets out and then uh, get on with the installation. It requires a seal around here uh, between the window and the turtle deck and then uh, rivet the whole thing together. Magnificent men in the 
to the manual, I'm supposed to now uh, put what they call a B shaped seal uh, on this edge here before putting the windows in and riveting them in. But funny thing is, this is all I have. And if, <laughs> this is all that came in the kit as far as I can recall. I never really got any length of this and in fact on the inventory manifest that I got with the kit there is nothing of the uh, stock number that is specified in the manual. So I don't think they gave me it. Anyway, I haven't used anything like this anywhere and that's all I got. It's not enough. So what I've got a local Canadian tire, sort of like a Harbor Freight, is a, a little uh, edge sealing that you might use on the door of your car and I'm going to use that. So I'll put that in here then I'll put the plexiglass in behind it and rivet it together and I think that's going to work really well. So I got the uh, seal in there, it looks pretty good. Um, here's the plexiglass or plastic material for the window here. And with one Clico holding it in place, I'm just going to Clico a few more. There we go. Clico in place, Clico in place, and ready to rivet. So I'm using uh, 1 8 inch aluminum rivets uh, with an aluminum washer, two aluminum washers, one on the outside and one on the inside, just to get that good. Some holes are easier to find than others. the clicos Last rivet on this side. Yes. And there's the co-pilot side done too. Okay, so um, now with the, the Dynon, because I've had this unit for a few years before installing it, the software is obviously out of date, so I've downloaded onto the little USB stick that comes with the dyno, and I downloaded onto that USB stick the software updates, and uh, there's also some engine management system configuration uh, updates. So I put them on the USB stick, put the USB stick in the back of the dyno, and now I'm gonna see if I can upload those files. Okay, system software. Yes. Upgrade software. Okay. Update system.
firmware. Am I sure? <laughs> I think so. Updating, validating, update. Do not power off. One, two, three percent, okay. Looks promising. Right from the start with the dyno, I've had these uh, warning signs. Uh, need compass calibration. Well, that's obvious. I know I have to do that. But also says the backup battery um, low charge. And apparently, uh, I haven't done anything about this because the manual says that can only happen in flight. Except I later read that there's kind of an asterisk thing that when you're building it, there's a way to do it. So basically, I got to leave it on a full charge, um, full charging of the battery. The main battery after like four hours or something and then voila maybe the backup battery will then charge itself so I'm gonna leave uh, my main battery on the battery charger overnight okay let's go in and see if all the files system softer see if they've all been updated from the USB stick upgrade system software files Skyview Dino Update Classic Duplicate how about that one that's a sensor update okay let's let's just say load are you sure sounds reasonable to me done if it's a duplicate it'll tell me okay so it's done it's the same or older so it's already done excellent that's all folks